Good afternoon, everybody. Dusty Pendergrass here with Lance Bauer. Uh, we're going to sit down and do another recap for you uh, on the second contemporary group uh, webinar. Lance, thank you for being with us. Thank you. I think it was a good webinar. Had some good questions come out of it and like to just kind of go over a few of the more popular questions that we get. So uh, we got a lot of great questions, a lot of amazing participation. We definitely want to keep this up. But there are, there are three main questions that really seem to, to strike a chord and really resonate with a lot of people that we're going to go over. Our first question, Lance, is are calves in separate pastures, are born in separate pastures, and then at weaning we combine them? What effect does combining these calves have on contemporary groups and EPDs? So this doesn't have any effect on your contemporary groups or your EPDs because your contemporary group, you can combine after birth, but then at weaning, that is your contemporary group or base contemporary group for your yearling weight and your carcass data and everything. So combining your calves at yearling, basically you're just bringing two contemporary groups together, but they're going to stay in their own separate contemporaries. So it's very similar to, let's say a bull test where we have all these different cattle, uh, born and raised in different environments, even a different pasture is a separate environment. Yes. We're bringing them together, they run in their own. Yes, um, my, my, my analogy there is, if I trained to play baseball my whole life, Dusty, and then you decided you wanted to play baseball, well, I've been training my whole life, so my environment has been strictly for that. And you come train with me for three months, well, yeah, you may, you'll pick up some skills and you'll get better, but you probably won't outperform me. There's Absolutely. a possibility, but you probably will. Awesome. Uh, second question. When the contemporary group is a set of embryo calves that are full brothers or sisters, why are their EPDs different? What, what's the difference there between a full set of embryos born in the same place out of very similar reset teeth? So the difference there is those embryos, if they're in a contemporary group, whether it's with their flush makes or other embryos, they're in those contemporary groups and they're getting compared. So the pedigree and the pedigree estimate part of the contemporary group all goes into it, but then you have the actual performance that goes in as well. Um, a way to look at this is a lot of people that have siblings. I've got a sister, uh, she and I are similar in terms of some of our features, but we're also very different in terms of some. Uh, so. That's another way to look at it. You and your siblings don't look exactly alike. You know, you may be 5'10 and they may be 6'4", so. Very fair. Uh, our final question that I think is pretty relevant and that really uh, could answer a lot of questions for folks. If I have sires and dams with low EPD percentiles, can their progeny ever improve? Uh, yes, I mean, that's, uh, that's something when you start to focus on EPDs and use the EPDs as a tool in your toolbox for cattle selection, you can continue to improve the EPDs of their project. Now, if you have something in the bottom 95th percentile and you breed it to something in the top 35, I mean, you're not going to end up with something in the top 1%. You can gradually make steps and continue to improve. Uh, if you just completely ignore the EPDs, well, then you don't know, you may improve, you may may not it. Very nice. Lance, we really appreciate you spending time with us today. This is just a short recap, everyone. Uh, this week, we're going to have a great webinar set up with Dr. Kai Fuller. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. He's done a lot of great things. And, you know, this is a direct link between you at home and somebody in the industry that's very well versed and can answer a lot of questions. So tune in, participate, ask those questions, and let us know if there's something that we should cover to answer questions there at home. Thank you all and have a great day.